Hey guys, Luke here, and uh, we're back for another episode of uh, my AS Monaco career mode show, Livecom thingy. I'm not sure what I'm exactly calling it as of now, because I haven't uploaded any at the time of recording this. Um, just getting through the games. Now, going for a little fairly different side, to be honest, in this one. Just trying some different stuff out. Um, we've got Gundogan playing left back. Uh, I'm not sure how that would go. I just um, wanted to give Contra a break, and I just wanted... I want a Gundogan to play because I feel like he's too good to not be playing. So, yeah, that's the reason for that. I'm gonna get straight into the game. Now, I think there's gonna be. I'm go probably gonna talk about something, maybe like the A League. Um, which, I mean, it's a bit weird talking about it while I'm playing with the French side, but. Um, I just wanna talk about, like, the A League and the progression of the A-League. Now, if you live in Australia, or oh, if you live outside of Australia, chances are you don't know what the A-League is. It's the Australian, Australian League, I think it started in about 2005, I'm going to say. So it hasn't been around that long, but if we're going to be totally honest, it hasn't really progressed that much. And I'll put it down to Salo Cap. Now, the to all the top leagues, they do have, not a salary cap, but they have like things where you got to have certain amounts of, for example, like, say, I'm not, I can't remember exactly off the top of my head what it is, but let's just say, um, the Premier League, you need like eight English players. Now, that could be something that they could adopt, because I think the whole idea of the A-League was to improve the top Australian side, and let's be honest, that's just, like, sorry, when I say top Australian side, I mean the national side. Socceroos. But let's be honest, that will not happen. Oh, what a chance we... Ooh, I'm going to swear then. So we say we have set up, but... Well, I guess. But, like, that's not the same thing, I think. I can't remember, maybe Louis C.K. said it, like... You're putting the word in my head, you may as well just say it, but I'm not going to. It'd be hypocrite. But I hate when people do that, when they say F word and all that. It's like... Making me say it in my head. Good ball to J Rod. Oh, I thought that was a goal. That wasn't supposed to be headed to Balotelli. Nearly ended up alright. But yeah, like, they like hasn't progressed very much, and I think it's because the like the salary cap like. For the reputation to grow, we need to get more big name players out. Like David Beckham would have been a perfect one. Obviously, he um, he went to PSG for a little bit, and then he retired. He owns a Miami side. Well, I think it's about to the like start. I don't think it's actually there right now, but he, he owns it for like when it when it comes into the comp for the MLS. Um, MLS is a good example. Like getting some big name players out although I think like the United States have like a better they have a bigger pool of talent in um football really the United States is just good at, good at sports in general oh. Pogba couldn't quite get onto it well actually it wasn't that it was more got intercepted I played devil's advocate for myself here I guess because I'm talking to myself, so it, if you haven't done live comms and commentaries in general, it can, it's quite a weird feeling talking to yourself. More, well, you're talking with the intentions that other people hear it, but let's like overall, you're talking to yourself. That's a terrible pass, but Gundogan, my fault though. Me as Gundogan, I should say. Sorry, just yawned there. Um, so back to back to the A League. Like when it first started, Dwight York came over, end of career, but you know, still a good player. Um, then who else has been here? Janino was out there as well. He's he was a good player. 
Ooh, I should have like sort of came back over so that the angle is more there. Right idea, just couldn't pull it off. I can't pull off those ones anymore. They don't want to seem to jump on the end of the ball. Like, even if it's right in front of them, they won't shoot it. Because right then and there, like in previous years, Royce would have like did well, not Royce, but whoever was in the middle would have done that thing where they do kind of it looks like a slide tackle. Where they t did the sliding shot. This would be a goal. No, it's not. I stuffed it up. Just gonna try and cut back and lay it off for Balotelli. Oh, off the crossbar. That was the chance. Didn't get it. It's half time. Yeah, like, at least had some good players. Robbie Fowler played for a bit. But at the same time, these are all guys on their last legs. Um, Del Piero was in there this year. He's now left. I, I, don't, I don't know who's going to going to come in. I remember seeing in the paper a few a little while ago that they were targeting four people. It was uh, Lampard, um, Forlan, Diego Forlan, um, who else was there? John Terry maybe? Yeah, There's a goal for Balotelli. Um, there's someone else as well. Another attacker, I think. can't remember who it was though, but it, it's irrelevant. Um, we need to get like the big. We need to get some big name players in. Why do we have to pick four of them? Why not get all of them and just spread? Like, why doesn't the league pay for these people if they like, worry about salary cap and stuff? Like, salary cap. Um, the thing is, they they have like one marquee player, and even then, they're not going to be absolutely like loaded. Maybe like, maybe like what someone could earn playing in like Premier League. Um, so yeah, like, this, there's no reason why any of the top players would leave, um, leave the big leagues. But we need to change that. We need to get some, um, bigger players out. So if, if someone, if some sheik or, like, someone wants to come in and they want to put money in the A-League, they can't really because Salary Cap stops them. And I think that needs to, like, that needs to change. I've said a fair few things being pretty much spewing the same bullshit for the whole thing but yeah pr pretty much get rid of the salary cap I mean there's not that much money in it like the owners probably be able to buy, buy the top players anyways but if they're available and they're not they don't want that much like why, why are we stopping people from getting the best players out that's the only way that it's gonna um, expand if we, if we get some of the big name players out because at this stage, it's only it's only the real soccer fanatics that will go to an ALA game. For example, like the Western Sydney side, and then like the people who bandwagon. Um, but at some some point, they're going to drop off when like they got beat again this year. There's going to be a point where fans stop turning up. We score again, Royce. Nice goal. No, it wasn't really nice. Would you cast that as a sweaty? I don't know. It's kind of good, just counter-attacking play from the corner. 2-0, safe win, you would think. Now, leave in the comments what you think about the A-League. Like, what could they do to sort of get more get more recognised? Do, do they need just some good player? Like, a uh, Lampard, he's still... He's not, like, he's at the end of his career. He fits into the end of his career category. But a lot of people know who he is, like, like a Shinji Ono, good player, but to the average person, who the who the hell's Shinji Ono? Like, I, I didn't know who Shinji Ono is, and I'm kind of into, like, I know a good amount of football things, like, like players, lots of teams and all that, but he's, like, played in Asia, and I'm not really in with Asia, and he was supposed to be, like, one of the big three, like, Heskey is out in Australia, and uh, although people know who Heskey is, it's more of a joke, like, Right now, he's like when he's playing, he's dreadful. Like, I'm sorry to say, but in all the games I've watched, he's been terrible, which is sad because I remember him being so awesome at Liverpool. But you know, th they get old. That stuff's gonna happen. So we, we need people who are good, and I, I think Lampard fit that really well because 
he's still a good player. He's not the player that he used to be, but he's still a good player and like like Del Piero would shit on the rest of the A League players to be honest. So like I'm not sure I'm not sure what sort of player they would need. Like I can't really find an example of what player would need and I'm not thinking like, you know, some twenty one year old dude who coming on loan from Bayern Munich or anything like that. That wouldn't help. We need like Maybe like, for example, if like Robin or someone came off contract, um, you know, came off contract soon, he's getting older, offer him a massive contract. Chances are he probably won't take it, but, you know, have the, like, give them the chance to be in the running for these players. Like Sydney, Sydney FC played all this money for like Brett Edmonton. Like Brett Edmonton fits into the category of being past it. And he, like, people knew who he was, but he wasn't that much of a draw. So they're paying all that money for an average player at, at the time. Very, or, yeah, I think he was very average for this player. And also, he didn't bring in any more crowds or anything. Del Piero was really good. I reckon you got your money's worth, Del Piero. And they should have done everything they could to keep him. They didn't. Oh well. But even if they bring back like a Tim Cahill or someone, that that'd be good. Crowds would be up initially, but at the same time he's not an absolute superstar. He's very popular in Australia, but he won't probably won't bring in the casual fans. So we're coming to the end of the episode. Like I said before, I've rambled on a lot. PSG lost, so we should be on top by ourselves here. Undefeated in the. Oh, I think Jack 54 HD to the League Earn or something like that. So I'm not sure if that's how you actually pronounce it. I'm just going to call it League One for now. Because, yeah. So we got a game against Nice, which is next. So that should be nice, I guess. And um, if you enjoyed the episode, please give it a like and subscribe for more if you like enjoyed it as well. And if you haven't, like, if you, um, haven't seen any of the other episodes, go check them out. Start from the start and go through, maybe put it on in the background while you play FIFA or something. And uh, yeah, I'll see you for the next episode. Alright, see you guys. Bye.